The new year is here, and it brings the promise of a brighter future for the Afghan people. That's why Major General Abdul Razik Shurzai, Kandahar Air Wing Commander, invited coalition forces, Afghan elders, military leaders, and even children to an open house celebrating progress for the wing. Insurgents are making propaganda that the NATO Afghan National Security Forces are, de are separated from Afghans. They are not with Afghans. So my plan and my opinion was to invite them all and show the Kandahar community we are all together, we are here for them. It's been 15 months since the wing stood up, and in that time, the Afghans have come a long way in terms of self-sustainability and operational readiness. With guidance from ISAF forces, they've flown hundreds of sorties, including medical evacuation missions. They're studying English, and they provided security and logistical support during last year's parliamentary elections. And as the fledgling force gains strength, they solidify an edge in the counterinsurgency fight that members of networks like the Taliban and Al-Qaeda can't match. They don't have any air support, air gun, so we are here to support our ANA, Afghan National Army, Afghan National Police, Border Police, and cops. Coalition mentors like Air Force Colonel Bernard Mater are impressed with the wing's progress and motivation. Mater added he's hopeful for what it means for Afghanistan's future stability and security. More and more they are able to do missions without our assistance, everything from mission planning to the maintenance generating the aircraft, air crews flying it on their own and safely coming back. What we see every day is continued improvement in the Kandahar Air Wing and we look for bigger and brighter things in 2011. Reporting from Kandahar Airfield, I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz.